Yeah, I think I've turned into the king of shuffling stuff around. I'm trying to get this thing moved so we can get the sawmill out of here. i got to move the saw horses. That's what we're working on tonight. Not as much fun as last night's video. Actually, not too bad to move, really. Not much worse than it was just as a uh, frame. It's definitely heavier, that's for sure. So we're just going to try to get it out of our way a little bit here. And hopefully... The slab not being as nice as it should be does not make it any easier to do this. This is not its final resting place, but it'll bring us quite a bit closer to where it's gonna, at least it'll be in the forage area. Hey, we're not cutting hoses, we're not pinching the wall. No leaks, that's a good thing. Get this out of the way. Really not too bad to move in the grand scheme of things. Keep asking myself, how many times am I going to move this sawmill? And I tell you what, this thing is a bastard to move. This mill head is so heavy and so awkward, you're just not picking it up. And it is very hard to, very hard to brute strength and ignorance of that thing around in the place. But we're going to get the tracks up. We'll get this track unbolted from the floor, get it swung around. I'm going to try a little experimentation here, see if I can get it at least where I need to. The thing is, when you tip it the one way, it's extremely front heavy. So... It's kind of awkward to move, and it's a little bit hairy to move it, um, but we're going to see what we can do. I do have a chain fall up above here. Unfortunately, it's not in the right spot for what I need to do, and I really can't move it unless I go up and drill holes in the floor. But let's get this stuff off. I know that's a good quarter. There we go. Well, this sawmill has done a whole lot of work. We have... The stuff that we have milled with this thing, it just, it amazes me. You know, it's not a fancy mill, it's not a, it's not a techie mill, there's no software, there's no hydraulics, it's just you and the mill and the wood. And what I recommend it, any of you who are regulars have watched enough of these videos of mine to know I would recommend it in a heartbeat. Not to say that I'd kick Nathan's sawmill out of bed for eating potato chips, but you know what I'm getting at. We need to get this thing moved anyway. I've got some logs outside to mill. It'd be nice to do a couple milling videos again because I, I kind of enjoy doing those. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can find where the tap cons are that hold this baby into place. Ah, there's one. There's two. Tell you, for those of you who may poo-poo on tap cons, these things have held this mill right dead where I put it through a whole lot of work and stress on it. You will recall when we set the mill back up in this timber frame as we were building it, it has sat in this same spot since we had two bents up, three bents, and we had no walls on, no roof on. This thing's been right here since it has not moved. You know, I've removed a couple of the track sections, but other than that, this guy is right where it's lived. 
All right, now I got to figure out where the hell I'm moving these to. These frames right here, it's three by three angle iron and uh, seven foot sections and awkward as hell to move. Just like everything around here, there's nothing that could just be simple and easy. And I mean, why would there be? I better take this phone out of my pocket because you know what? I just had to get another one because I destroyed the last one doing shit like this. All right, let's see. Let's see where this goes. Probably right in front of the door out there just to block everything off because that's how I work. But who wants to carry this damn thing for me? You know what I have? I have a son who's getting stronger in the house. You know, I think now would be a real good time for him to just prove to all of us how strong he is, that poor kid. And I think I will do that. You feel tough? Sure. Sure. And we're going to do, we're going to try to carry it flat. Otherwise these, these uh, log holders like to walk around on us. This is heavy. If you don't feel that you can do it, just set it down, okay? Don't warn me. So. Yeah, all right? Yep. Feel like you're going to lose a nut? <laughs> no? Well, that's good. <laughs> don't laugh. You'll drop it. You'll kill us all. You know what I like about kids? Absolutely not. Not been established many times. I hear it every day. Yeah, you deserve it. Oh, probably. Alright, so what I want you to do there, Buckwheat, I am going to try to pivot this out this way. So what I need you to do is stand back here. Keep this thing from rolling on the old man, okay? Yeah. All right, we're gonna set this thing down. Why would we? Yeah, that's what I didn't want to do, but I did it. <laughs> okay. Set that. Keep your hand. No, I didn't mean to do that. Keep your hand on the mill so it doesn't roll off. I forgot to roll any tabs there. Okay, we wanna. Why do we wanna lower the saw head all the way? Oh well, yeah, but why? Do you know why? No. No? No. So this thing up in the air, it's really top heavy, right? So when it's really top heavy, top heavy loads are unstable, right? So if you have something you're trying to move around and it's really unstable, that's when accidents happen. Well, we're going to try to do this kind of control to get it on that pallet and then we'll get it out there. Right? Yep. Right? I guess, sure, why not? Lift! Wuss! No? Alright. Come on, Hercules! Why don't you get out from in front of it, please? Ha! Holy cow!
Tell you what, it slides on this, not too bad, really. Okay, you gotta make sure I'm not gonna hit anything. Okay, when I get up to this chain, can you hold it out of my way, please? Yep. It's part of that don't let me hit anything deal there. No, I want you out of there. That's why I told you wait till I get to it so you can reach over because I don't want you. When you're moving heavy stuff around, it's very important not to let yourself get in tight with it because if it tips over something and pins you, that's when people get killed. All right. Okay, go ahead. Move the light. I think, uh, I'm going to clear that generator. We got an awful lot of progress here for just a couple of nights of dicking around. But now I have a truckload of stuff to go to the dump. A bunch of stuff has been moved. The sawmill has moved for the first time in like three years, three, four years. Very happy about that. I swore I wouldn't be moving it again, but uh, you know, like I said before in the last video, the plans evolve, the plans change. You have an idea when you start what you want to do. That hasn't changed at all, but the um, sort of the space. I, I had some advice from uh, Will from Debt Free Homesteaders. He's a regular viewer. I talked to him on the phone here and there. Kind of a buddy. And um, you know, he told me, he said, you know, you, you maybe you need to take some time, shut the camera off, and concentrate on your maker space, which that's a weird a maker space. I don't know. That's... I don't even know what to, how to respond to that. It's a different... Um, I don't know, just to me it seems like a buzzword, but he is right. Take the time, focus on it, declutter the space so you can think about what you're doing because it's awful hard to concentrate on what you're doing in the next step when you know you're going to be spending a half an hour looking for a screwdriver or you're tripping over things, walking over things, and chances are, I know me, once this is all cleaned out and set up, I'll probably keep it that way for a day or two and then it's going to start slowly going backwards because that's how I've just always been but um, I've said it before in previous videos over the years that I have never been set up I have never truly gone and just set up it's always been time constraints money constraints things like that and I'm getting to the age and the point in life to where if, if I want to do these things that I want to do I'm almost 40 years old and and I, I think to myself not that the clock's running down, but I always have that in the back of my head now. You're not as young as you used to be, and you're not getting any younger. So, the shit you were doing in your 20s, you know, bowling everything around, and in my 30s, building this thing, bowling everything around, that stuff's starting to, you know, I'm going to feel the effects, and I already do. So I know if I stop moving, I hurt. <laughs> That's just the way it goes. So, going along with that, it is time. It's just the right time to get these processes in place, to get things to where we can work around safely, to where if I have to move something heavy like we did tonight, yeah, I really shouldn't be balling around on that sawmill, but sometimes you do what you have to do. But um, 
it's kind of just like I said, it's just time to get those processes refined and set up and actually officially set up. I mean, I can't turn things out of this shop if I can't find a damn screwdriver when I need it. So all that stuff takes time, and I have limited time to begin with. So, so far so good. I'm happy with it. We still have this big stack of hemlock boards to move. That's going to go right out the back door because we're going to be building a corral soon. And yeah, I don't normally run the camera for the farm stuff, but I'll run it for that. Um, that'll definitely... That's definitely something we need to get after here pretty quickly because I've got to move some cows here pretty soon and get them sold off. But, uh, of course, right now the market's really not that good according to all the sources. So we have to be aware of that with all this crap going on. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Um, sorry it's more of a clean-up video, but it's all part of the process. Everything we do here is part of the process, and... I pretty much share just about all parts of most processes to the point of nausea, but that's just the style channel we are. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will catch you on the next one.